Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Chris Tales. Last time we left off, we cured a couple of uh, people of the glass lung, Christopher included. So that's cool. And we also did a side quest that involved uh, Jaru and uh, curing Jaru's wife specifically and convincing her that Jaru still loves her. So I think we're supposed to go back to Jaru now. So let's go check in with Jaru, be like, hey, did your wife come back? It was over here, I believe, and at the house to the very left by the uh, cemetery, so. And there's usually three side quests. I'm not sure where the final one would be. I'm just not super positive. I'm sure we'll figure it out though. So let's just go ahead and get up here and see what we can do. Bop. Yo. She's back. I can't believe it. After all these years, I haven't felt happiness in so long. I'm truly in bliss. I hope I can make her as happy as I am. No. Miss Kimber. I can't thank you enough for what you've done. I could never repay you. I don't even know your names. I just realized Kimber's name. I think it's like a pun on Timber. Or something with Kim. I, I don't know. I was thinking like... No, I'm thinking of Tinder. As that's like a fire starter. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking of like Tinder as like a fire starter. And, I th and yeah, never mind. Kimber is just like Timber, not Tinder. We are Chris Bell, Wilhelm, JKR, Christopher, and, of course, your trusted friend, Zass. And Time Mage is about to save the world. Zass and friends, I'll be sure to remember your names. You just remember Zass? <laughs> We're just happy to help. You brought this sad man true happiness. I'm glad. I promise you, my dear Jaru, we are never going to be apart again. It's a promise, my darling. It's a promise. No. And for you, our heroes, it's not much, but please have this. A small token of appreciation from us. Dark Steel Sabatons. Well, that's cool. No. And Jaru's happy. Yay. No. I love it. I consider that a job well done. A heart made whole. Cool. So... Is there another quest, is the question. Is that I do not know. Um, that I do not know, because I didn't see anything in Sinisa. Um, hmm. And I don't think I want to put those sabatons on anyone, really. Actually, it'd probably be good on you. Yeah, it would increase your speed. Um, of course, these light armored boots always uh, allow you to act first. But if your speed's high enough, you might always be able to act first anyway. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll give you that. More speed and attack is never a bad thing. Even if it's on the character I'm not really doing much attacking with. It'd be nice if Chris Bell had like a, some sort of magic attack. But unfortunately, she does not. She has healing, and I'm assuming magic attack also increases how much you heal, so it does it does help. Increasing her magic attack. But alright, where's this last side quest? Assuming there are that many. Because there's not many more characters I feel like we could interact with. There's some in like Zeniza, but and like before when I had done all the quests, didn't like the future version of this place look like much nicer? So I feel like there's probably one more somewhere, and I'm thinking it's probably Sinisa, but I'm going to go check in here really quickly. Just to make sure. Yeah, there's nothing with you two. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to guess it's somewhere in Sinisa, which is a bit of a pain since that's an area that has enemies in it. And I'm basically just going to be walking around trying to figure out where a side quest may or may not be, but, uh, 
Yeah, what can you do? I want to do all the stuff, especially since I know these side quests matter more than just their rewards, since it usually gives us more options to choose from when we have to make a big decision. So yeah, I think I'm definitely going to run over here and just investigate you a little bit more. That might be all the side quests. I mean, I could see it being, but I just want to be sure. Like I said, I think most of the areas before had three. So I'm thinking that this one's also going to have three. Um, so all of you were cured. We're good there. The only other thing I could see is um, the boss fight that we fought in the forge maybe has a side quest. But that would require me walking all the way back into that forge, which seems unideal. So I don't know about that. That'd be it'd be kind of rude for them to hide it there, because you gotta walk all the way back to the end of the dungeon to get it to you know to actually accept the quest. But yeah, that's the only other character I could see having a side quest for us. Um and there's like various characters here, but these are mostly just people I cured of glass lung. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. What about you? kids doing here please let us help you oh wait did was the do we still have to cure all the Sundarians? because yeah we didn't cure them all once we got to um uh kimber i was like oh okay this must be the last one because it's a big story one but yeah there are more six Sundarians here a cure are you here on behalf of the princesses yes trust us i I knew it! They were going to find a cure eventually! Thank you, miss! Please give this to our princesses. It's only fair. Ooh, a tent. Ooh, that's very nice. Y yes Please, let us help you. What is this? A cure for the glass lung? Are you sure it works? Yes, trust us. I, I can't believe this. I never felt like this before. It must be a cure for sure. Wait, did your voice just change? Excuse me, am I, am I crazy? Or did your voice just change? I have to go back to my wife and kids. Please, take this. I have no more need for it. I, I mean, I know you were sick, but that, that was like a total shift in voice, right? <laughs> Auntie Vern, thank you. Uh, interesting. Interesting. I, I I don't know. People can tell me if I'm crazy or not. <laughs> well, that was weird. But yeah, maybe we have to cure all of the six Sundarians. Maybe that's like the third quote-unquote quest, because that was initially what was supposed to happen from uh, doing this quest, a heart made whole. Because yeah, we did this. Yeah, the party travels through Cinder and Sinisa to try and heal any Sundarian they find. Yeah. So... I'm imagining we probably want to cure them all. It also just seems like the right thing to do. So, I do believe you're the last one, right? Because I cured all the ones on the left side, didn't I? I feel... so cold. Please, let us help you. This... this is a... Yes! Heat! I can finally feel heat again! It has to be the cure! I can't thank you enough! Please, have this! Cup of coffee. Thank you. Okay, so... I think that's it, isn't it? I think so. I believe that is all. Okay, so... Yeah, because you wouldn't need one. I don't think there's any Sundarians over there. I don't believe so. Let me check really quickly. Yeah, there's none- there's none over here. I got all the ones on the left side, I'm pretty sure. So I think we're just good now. I think we are just good now. Later, guys. Not fighting you. Christopher is underleveled, but... It's fine. We're so stupidly broken at this point. Which, I mean... The boss fights can be stupidly broken too, as we saw with Volcano and Galley, but... Uh, I won't grind unless I know I need to. And yeah, we fixed you up. 
Okay, maybe that maybe that is it. Maybe that is it. Cause yeah, it seems like we've cured most of them here. That one of them gave us a tint. Which is uh very, very nice as I'm getting a spam call on my phone. Go away. There we go. Stupid spam call. There's so many of those damn things recently. Supposed to be doing something about robocalls, but you just get a billion of them. All right, so let's go back to town. And yeah, I guess just follow up on things because I, I, I really don't think they would hide a side quest at that character that's at the top of the Great Forge. I feel like that would be rude. And we would have to walk all the way back through it, so... Yeah, so what do we have to actually do? Have to fulfill our part of the deal. Yeah, let's go give the cure to Azufra. So, I don't know, maybe the maybe the final si uh, side quest will show up after we do this. Maybe this isn't like the final point of no return or whatever. <clears throat> we shall see. We shall see. Let's just go over here and check it out. All right, uh, what is up, Azufra? So, you're back. Did you complete the medicine? We did. Wonderful. My thanks. I can't tell you how long I've been praying for a cure, but... Liar! Murderer! You could have had it years ago if you hadn't killed the man who discovered it. Oh. Azufra, look out! Oh, I thought you were gonna, like, throw a dagger or something at him to actually assassinate him, but you really just summoned some... ...frankly shitty enemies? Shut up, Zaz. You've got no right to lecture me. If you want to kill him, you're gonna have to go through me. <sighs> guards! To me! Quickly! Your guards won't be able to protect you, traitor. Not for long. So well, that's why you're doing this whole thing, because Azufra, yeah, is the one that killed your father, as we found out in the Great Forge. You'll never be safe. Not while I'm alive. Well... She... <laughs> that woman is insane. Also, you just bopped all of those goblins just by, like, basically, like, a flick- Like, you snapped and they were dead. What was that? Crazy fire magic. Yeah, Kari always has been a little... off. Of course, she's not wrong about the whole murder thing. What was that? Huh? Oh, um, nothing. Well, it seems I owe you all a great debt. First, you disarmed the bomb in the square. Then you obtained this medicine. And now you've saved me yet again. We just want to help all the people in Cinder. I believe you, Chris Bell. I really do. That's what makes this so much more difficult. Oh, are you gonna just be an asshole? Just be an asshole. Guards! Seize them all! Oh, you dick. Yes, sir. What? Why would you do this? Probably because the Time Empress promises to help to give him something if he, if he catches us or some shit, I don't know. Do you have any idea how important control of this medicine is? As long as I'm the only one with the recipe... <laughs> well, you get the idea. Oh, fuck you. You are basically... current pharmaceutical industry, which is incredibly awful. Because they charge ridiculous prices for medicine that people need in order to survive. Wow, you're a dick, and I hate you. Oh, fool! I hate you because you're the you are the cause of a lot of the struggles that I have personally been through. So fuck you in particular, Zufra. Wow, I didn't know that's where we were gonna go with this. You're some pharmaceutical maniac that's like, oh, this, this cure people need it. I'm just gonna make make money off of it by try by charging crazy prices. Oh, I hate you. 
You can't do this! Finia, tell him! I... I'm sorry, Christopher. This medicine is the only thing that can save our people. Even though I appreciate what you've all done for us, we have to consider the bigger picture. Okay, so wait. I'm under the impression that Azufra's talking about, like, well, as long as I'm the only one with the recipe, I can charge crazy prices for it. But are you saying you're just keeping it for the people of Cinder? Which, that, that's weird. Isn't that the only people that need it? Unless you were talking about Sinisa, too. What Fenia means is that we can't risk any of you leaving here and sharing this miracle with our adversaries. Uh-huh. Please know, what you've done will not be forgotten. The people of Cinder will be grateful for your sacrifice. Okay, so you are just a weird asshole. No, 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 no! Time magic activates. Here she is. What did I do? Impressive, girl. I didn't learn to do this until I was much more experienced. You... What's happening? What have you done? <laughs> oh, silly child. What have I done? Nothing. You, however, have frozen time. It's quite remarkable. And dangerous. Still, I can understand your reasons. He's really quite the handful, isn't he? Azufra, I mean. A true beast of a man. Reminds me a bit of Enzo. You remember dear Enzo, don't you, Crispel? I know what you're trying to do. I've seen a vision of your cataclysm. You're no better than either of them. Now, now. That's just unkind. I'm much better than either of them. In every way, really. Such small minds. Wealth. Power. That's all they craved. They indulged in feeble attempts to buy the love of their precious citizens. Pathetic. I, on the other hand, couldn't care less for the adoration of the idiot masses. Their love. Their admiration. <laughs> I mean, you're still horrible. I mean, you're... <laughs> this isn't much of a difference, but go ahead. Worthless. Meaningless distractions for sad little minds. Yeah, you're one of those weird villains that's like, I'm above everyone else. The only person I have to care about is myself. You're basically just super selfish. Stop it. You're pretending to be above all of this. But I know what you're doing. You're poisoning these people with your medicine to turn them into mindless soldiers for your army. This is all just part of your plot to conquer Crystallis! Oh, Crispel. Dear, sweet, maddeningly stupid Crispel. Still so naive. Do you really understand so little? Even now? You met my servant, Kari Hudo, earlier. Why do you think I sent her there? Use your head, girl. And as for harming the people of Cinder with my medicine? Yeah, I mean, it makes sense why you sent Kari there. Would you prefer I had let them die? Because that's what would have happened to them. No one is happier than I that you've found a better cure. But Crispel... I'm shocked that you'd rather these poor people die of glass lung than serve in my army. Such arrogance. What? I never said that! You expect me to believe this was all for their own good? We are all just a product of our circumstances, my dear. You're free to believe whatever makes your little heart happy. Well, this has been entertaining. But the Millennium Rock awaits. Farewell. Farewell. What just... No! Wait! Vengeance is mine! Yeah... 
I mean, I'm going to be honest, um, it's making it seem like this is a bad thing, and it probably likely is because the town is without a ruler, but Azufra seems like an extra special kind of piece of shit, so... Uh, I have a hard time feeling bad for Azufra here, but I get it. The, the overall picture is kind of a bad thing, I guess. Hurry! No! No! Azufra! My love! No! Is he...? <laughs> Dead! Just as you deserved. My work here is done. Azufra? Is he dead? I don't know, man. I find it kind of hard to feel sorry for the guy um, that killed the dad of one of our... I have two, two of the characters that we know, and was also just going on about how he was going to basically monopolize the cure to this deadly disease that was making people suffer. I don't know. <laughs> you killed him. You killed Azufra. Oh, is that what was happening here? They're, they're trying to pin it on us. Maybe I misjudged you, brat. What? You killed Azufra? Whoa. You're coming with us. Let's go. Wait, you guys like that? <laughs> did you, did you, you didn't like the first citizen? Well done, kid. I didn't think you had it in you. Guess I was wrong. Yeah, yeah, I figures you guys would like this. You don't get it. It wasn't me. Well, it sure looked like it was you to everybody else. Yeah? There wasn't anyone else there, so who are you going to pin it on? It was... The Empress! And Kari Hudo! Lies. You were the only one who could have... I swear it! The Empress said something about the Millennium Rock! Then Kari Hudo killed him! And they both disappeared! Ha! <laughs> ah, that's rich, well. Any other invisible friends involved, or just those two? Wait, the Millennium Rock? Are you sure? Could she be headed to the Cathedral? You think she's telling the truth? We'll see. Time girl. You can see the future, right? What is the future of our city? What do you see? It's pretty shit. I'm sorry, but the truth is, it's mostly destroyed. But this isn't the first time I've seen something like that. We might be able to change the future for the better. We've done it before. I'm sure we can do it again. I'm not so sure that will always be the case, Crispell. Be careful what you promise. Yeah, some futures you probably just can't change. Enough. Lao, tell us. Does she lie? I... believe her, princess. She speaks truly. Hmm. <laughs> Very well. Give them the seal. Yes, princess. What are you doing, Volcano? Are you insane? Shut up, Galley. I've made my decision. Here it is. Sundarian Royal Seal. Wow, a seal! Can you guys believe it? This is incredible! We got a seal! No, oh, I wish it was the animal to see a seal. That would be cool. Also, what is it? This seal is kept only by the royalty of the kingdom. It opens a passage in the middle of town. Right under where Azufra statue currently stands. There you'll find a path that leads to the cathedral. Why are you suddenly being so helpful? This is the longest you've ever gone without trying to murder us. Enough talk, boy. The truth is, we looked in on all the Cinderians we gave the medicine to. Almost half of them are gone. Turned feral like so many others. We just never recognized the pattern. How can we have been so blind? No longer, my sister. Starting today, we no longer work for the Empress. We're going to put all our resources into manufacturing Arola's new medicine. I hate to, uh, I hate to interrupt you here, but hey, look, there's our, uh, there's our other side quest. We just gotta go talk to the sisters in the past. 
That's funny. That's very funny. I just see it pop up there in the past. <sighs> you, however, should head to the cathedral. Whatever the Empress and her servants are up to, it must be stopped. We'll head out right now! After we do that side quest, for past you. Wait. Prispel, is it? Y yes Nothing. Just be sure to come back. It would be super cool if you guys joined the party, just saying. We'll go now. Thank you, Volcano. It actually was weird that they specifically mentioned uh, the sister that you two have. I was kind of wondering if we would get them as a party member, because it seemed weird that they... One, even have a sister, and two, that they mentioned them by name, like they were going to come up in the story at some point. So it would be really cool if the sister, like, joined us, because it would be cool to have one of you. Alright, let's go check the side quest. So, so you guys, like, always hovered, basically. You just float. That's your thing. You're Super Saiyans. Calm down, Gally. But mom and dad, they're good. Don't worry about them. They're just resting. Resting? <laughs> Shut up, Volcano. I know what happened. I'm not stupid. I'm sorry. That was insensitive of me I hate that Azufra if it wasn't for him and his stupid revolution mom and dad would still be Gally I know I know I want I want to visit their grave leader and bring this your doll yes the one mom made for me I want them to have it so that they never forget us. Oh, Gally. You know they would never forget us. But... I understand. We'll go there tomorrow. And you can leave the doll at the grave. Thank you. And... Volcano? Yes? Promise me you'll never leave me alone. Of course, Gally. I promise. I should return to the present now. Now that I've successfully eavesdropped on this tender moment. <laughs> the Volcano Sisters. They lost their family in the revolution. What? Yes. I figured as much. They were the previous rulers. So when Azufra became the new leader of the city... I... I'd like to learn more about what happened. Come on, everyone. Let's go to the cemetery. Seems like this revolution was actually a uh, pretty harmful one to the city overall. Usually when you hear about a revolution, it is a good thing, but uh, there's probably cases where it can also be a bad thing. Where the people that were currently leading were actually okay, but then assholes just wanted to take over. And it seems like that may be the case with the Zufra. <laughs> so... Huh. Azufra just, uh, yeah, that really hard to, to care about Azufra dying, I gotta be honest. So yeah, there we go. There's our final side quest for this area. So I guess we'll follow up on that next time, because we are almost at 30 minutes now. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Chris Tales, and I'll see you next time.